Are you an Old Testament guy or a New Testament guy? All right, let's see it. Well, the New Testament. No, well, the New Testament was made by Constantine. The New Testament absolutely was not made by Constantine. The texts of the New Testament were composed over a period of about a century from around 50 CE with the earliest letters of Paul down to around 150 CE with the last texts of the New Testament that were composed. And already by this time, the letters of Paul and the Gospels were already considered scripture. And by the end of the second century, we already had the main texts of the New Testament firmly in place, even if there were some fuzzy boundaries with a couple of texts like the Shepherd of Hermas and others that would ultimately be left out of the canon and other texts like the Epistles of Peter and Revelation uh, that would later be included in the canon. Uh, the canon itself, the 27 books of the New Testament as we know them today, was most forcefully and authoritatively asserted in Athanasius's 39 festal letter for Easter of 367 CE. Uh, Revelation was very important to Athanasius's structuring of power. That's why he included it, and that's why it ultimately is included in the canon. But uh, it was out for most people up to uh, the middle of the 4th century CE. So what Constantine did was commission Eusebius of Caesarea to produce 50 copies of the scriptures uh, for use uh, in the growing church. Uh, we don't have any copies of these that we know of, but this tradition may be the tradition that resulted in texts like Sinaiticus and Vaticanus, which are considered late 4th century, early 5th century editions of the scriptures. But they also don't match each other in terms of the texts that are included, and they don't match our current canon. So this was a period when the canon was still in a bit of flux. It was a f***ing Roman emperor who wasn't even Christian. Mm. He didn't even believe it. He was, he was, he was, he was, he became a Christian on his f***ing deathbed. We can't know for sure what kind of conversion Constantine experienced, and obviously he saw Christianity as a tool to aid in the structuring of power in favor of his reign. But if he did get baptized right before his death in 337 CE, as a lot of historians believe, that would not be hugely out of character for converts to Christianity during the 4th century CE, who frequently deferred baptism until the end of their life and remained what are called catechumens, or people receiving instruction in Christianity throughout most of their life. Uh, a lot of scholars suggest that at the time period they believed this minimized the amount of sin that they could possibly commit following their baptism and so maximized uh, their chances of getting into heaven. Like, that's when he became a Christian. Like, all these people that are, like, really into the New Testament. Mm. And, like, I'll talk about Old Testament shit, and people get mad at me on yeah. Twitter. They'll send me this f***ing hate text. You understand, mother f***er, what the difference is between the Old Testament and the New Testament. Because the New Testament is utter horse shit. It's created by a bishop and a f***ing emperor. That's a fact. That's, like, r established religious fact. Uh, no, it's not. Like, everyone knows where it came from. And not only that, it was written hundreds of years after the death of Jesus. Again, the texts of the New Testament were written over a period of about a century, starting around 20 years after the death of Jesus and running to about 120 years after the death of Jesus.